there. This is teacher Michelle. Welcome to Learning Maths with Michelle. Look over here, we have sharing into parts. Sharing into parts is what we call fraction. When you have something whole and you decide you're going to break it into pieces and share with those you love. You know, during this time, we are all at home and what can we do? We can decide to be making lots of nice things and share. On my chalkboard, what could this be? Perhaps a cake that I baked. So, suppose if I had baked three yummy cakes, or if you would have baked three yummy cakes. This would be the first one, the second one, and the third one. But this one, you decide you're not going to cut it. It will remain whole. And in mathematics, when it is whole, you indicate it by writing one whole. So that is one whole cake. But this one over here, we decide to take our knife. Can you see the knife? That is the cutting knife. Take the cutting knife and carefully through the center, you cut it. Then you cut it again. And voila, you have your four pieces. First piece, second piece, third and fourth. When we draw this knife and we count the number of pieces, we write the total number of the pieces down and we call it the denominator. So this cake was cut into four equal pieces. But you see, the cake is full. No one has taken a piece yet. So out of a cake that was cut into four equal pieces, all the four pieces are still there. So this is a whole fraction. Now let's come to this one. This is that yummy cake I baked and I decided to slice it into three equal pieces. I took my kitchen knife and carefully I cut it and I cut it. Can you see the three pieces? Let's count them together. One, two, three. So, out of a cake that was cut into three equal pieces, that is the denominator, we see that all the three pieces are there. So, I am sure you will agree with me, you will indeed agree with me that this cake is a whole cake. What about this? Yes, we did cut it into four equal pieces, but they're all there, so it is a whole cake too. And that one there, we did cut it into three equal pieces, but all the three equal pieces are there. So, this is equally a whole cake. And that is how you write a fraction of a whole cake. Here it becomes, out of four equal pieces, four pieces are still there, so four out of four. Out of three equal pieces, all the three pieces are there. So this is how we make whole fraction. Now I think the interesting part is when we begin to enjoy the cake, right? That's why we baked it in the first place. So let's start eating. Hmm. Would you like this piece? And this one? These are green and they're the vegetable pieces. If you love vegetable, these pieces are for you. So, we have
have to remember, before I give you these pieces to enjoy, we have to remember how many pieces were there all together. How many pieces had I cut my cake? It was three. So you have to first write out of three equal pieces. Out of three equal pieces. How many pieces are you going to eat? The vegetable? How many are they? Good. There are two pieces. You are going to enjoy two pieces. That is how you find that the numerator is going to change. The numerator is the number up. It's going to change because it is showing the pieces that I've given you. And if you're going to enjoy two pieces, I'm going to enjoy one. So, let's still remember how many pieces. Out of how many pieces were they originally? Before anyone ate any? Good. They were three. So out of those three pieces, I am going to enjoy a piece. So I write one. And when you add this two, one out of three, and two out of three, we will find our full cake. So why don't you try this one? And then look at this one. Count all the pieces of this long chocolate bar over here. How many pieces can you count? Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So all the time we make our fraction, you have to remember this bar was cut or shared into seven equal pieces. So tell me, if you add the blue bars of chocolate, if that's what you enjoyed, what would be the fraction? I think I love the yellow, the golden yellow. So out of seven, out of seven pieces, I will enjoy two yellows. What would you enjoy? I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. And I'm looking forward to you participating in the next one. So, sharing in two parts was today's lesson. And if you enjoyed the blue, I am sure you found out that it was three pieces that you enjoyed. Out of the total of seven pieces, you had enjoyed three pieces. So that's it, it for today and welcome to another lesson, another time.